Hello and welcome to the Watchman on the Wall channel. This prophetic word comes from Daniel Pontius, Sonora, California, hearing the still small voice. After many years of learning to hear the voice of the Holy Spirit for myself, I have learned how to sympathize with those who have told me that they simply don't hear the Lord ever speak to them. While this is extraordinarily frustrating, and often people just quit trying, it's not because he isn't speaking to them. It's because many of us are listening to the wrong frequency on a different station. (laughs) Expectations often operate in people's lives, much like radio stations in the airwaves. As you turn the dial on the radio, you pick up a different voice through the airwaves each time you turn it. Every voice that comes through the radio will be saying its own message through its own frequency, and the message will differ depending upon the speaker who's speaking. The key for each of us in these situations is to tune our heart to hear the voice that is speaking from heaven's frequency. There are all kinds of different spirits which are speaking. Each has a different message, but the Holy Spirit only speaks the messages of Jesus Christ. But when He, the Spirit of truth, the truth-giving Spirit comes. He will guide you into all truth, the whole truth, the full truth. For he will not speak of his own message on his own authority, but he will tell whatever he hears from the Father. He will give the message that has been given to him. He will announce and declare to you the things that are to come that will happen in the future. John sixteen thirteen. Beloved, do not put faith in every spirit, but prove Test the spirits to discover whether they proceed from God, for many false prophets have gone forth into the world. 1 John 4, 1. As we have certain expectations of how God will choose to speak to us, we often get frustrated when he doesn't speak in the way we expected him to. Whether it's because that's the way we were taught or because it's the way he speaks to someone else, we can get frustrated because he didn't do it the way we expected him to. That doesn't mean that he's not speaking. I learned to remove my expectations of how he's going to do it and just learn to spend time with him alone, to quiet my mind, to quiet my heart, to just ask the Holy Spirit to come however he chooses to and reveal himself to me through Jesus Christ in a way I've never seen or heard before. As I've often done this, I've found distractions being removed and the still small voice emerging out of the background of noise and everything that's in my heart and my mind. Often that voice is covered with peace, with love, with the acceptance of God on it, speaking directly to my situation with wisdom that I didn't previously possess. If you're one who's frustrated by not hearing his voice, or if you've never heard his voice before, maybe you need to allow him to speak past your expectations, past your doubts, past your fears. Allow him to surprise you with what he'll bring to you in the process. He's speaking to you right now. He who has ears, let him hear. Let's pray. Lord, I thank you for this word of encouragement. Lord, it is so true. I expect you to speak in a certain way. I even confine you to an hour in the morning, which I want to listen. Lord Jesus, I just ask you, Father, right now. Lord, help me, help my friend, help us to realign to to how you're speaking Father, help us to tune in to your frequency. Lord, that we wouldn't just reach for our phones, flip on the TV, talk to someone next to us, Father, but we would be led by you. That we would pause. Lord, that you would be our first point of contact when we're processing, when we're thinking, when we're deliberating. Lord, I just thank you, Father, that your mercies are new every morning. I thank you that you speak to us a message, not your own, but what you hear Father God saying. And that's, that's the message we want to hear. Connected to God, doing his will, living a life in consecration to him. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.